Good afternoon. This is some old footage I took off Scatrick Island, uh, White Rock, uh, near Kalinche. And this is Scatrick Castle or Defended House. And if you want somewhere uh, to chill out, to uh, enjoy the scenery and all the rest of it, and have a bite to eat, then Daft Eddie's is the place to come to. Absolutely fabulous um, eatery and uh, if you don't want a, a full-blown uh, restaurant menu then you can go to Little Eddie's which is the coffee shop and you'll get a nice scone or tray bake or whatever it happens to be. And all sorts of people come and stop off at Daft Eddie's. There's a few beggars. Yes, um, Daft Eddie's really really popular with cyclists and motorbikers and and all sorts. We went down one day and uh, there was a helicopter parked in the front lawn. Um, it was a bit of a surprise. And people like uh, Pierce Brosnan and, and Frank Lampard and Christine Blakely and, and others um, called celebrities uh, of all um, and enjoyed a meal down at Daft Eddie's. Um, really, really superb place. Uh, I, I can't recommend it enough. And these um, are some of the views that you're getting from Daft Eddie's and Little Eddie's. It's uh, not really an island as such because it is connected by um, this causeway here um, but it's historic you know the Skeptic house or def it's a defended house it's not really a castle and uh, was built mid 1500s so there's a lot of history uh, in this locality and most of it's connected with the sea Here's an, an interesting question. Where did Daft Eddie's get its name from? Was there such a person as Daft Eddie? Well, we're not absolutely sure, but most locals would uh, say yes. There definitely was a guy called Daft Eddie. Now, some of the cyclists who come and uh, stop off here for a for a cuppa. The fact is that an awful lot of smuggling took place around the coasts of County Down and, and County Antrim, mostly whiskey and, and uh, wines and what have you. And smuggling went on round here. Uh, in fact, so much smuggling went on that numerous Coast Guard um, buildings, housing uh, Coast Guards who used firearms to protect themselves from the smugglers. Uh, numerous Coast Guard stations were, were built in the 1800s. And most of the information um, that we can get about this fellow uh, called Daft Eddie, uh, whether it's fact or fiction remains uh, not quite clear, but most of the information that we can uh, glean uh, comes from the writings of um, a guy called W.G. Little. And he wrote this book, uh, Daft Eddie or the Smugglers of Strangford Lock. So what is the story of Daft Eddie. Well I punched in uh, Daft Eddie and here's what it came up with on Amazon. So here's what it says and the, the full title is Daft Eddie or The Smugglers of Strangford Lock, A Tale of Kalinche. First appeared as a serial, serial in the author's own newspaper and that was uh, W.G. Little. Um, journalist come uh, sort of novelist, if you like. Uh, the North Down Herald and the Bangor Gazette, Gazette uh, in 18, 
89 published this and it's based on actual events in the Ards Peninsula County Down during the 18th century, probably mid 18th century. It tells the tale of a band of local smugglers that went by the name of the Merry Hearts of Down but its criminal activities extended well beyond mere smuggling. So it gets um, a bit darker than you know jolly smuggling activities and in his novel Little relates the story of a kidnap, extortion and uh, murder. The eponymous hero Eddie is a simple lad from the Hee Island uh, in Strangford Lock who shadows the gang's every move and aids in the search for an abducted magistrate and his daughter. And I have it on good authority that Daft Eddie is buried somewhere in this ancient graveyard at Lisbian Cumber. Now, just how he died, not too sure, uh, but he may well have been shot uh, because he was a smuggler or he may well have been shot by the smugglers themselves um, because they were suspicious of him. Well, it's not quite clear. Um, but somewhere in this graveyard, apparently, under a massive uh, slate slab lying on the ground uh, is the grave of Daft Eddie and uh, well, that's what, that's what is, is widely thought. Um, I certainly didn't see uh, any massive sl uh, slate slab whenever I videoed this uh, graveyard at Tullnachilly at Lisbon or Tulna Kill, I think it is properly called. Um, graves date back to the mid 1600s here. Um, I'd love to go back and do a further explanation. Exploration, but I'm I'm told uh, by the proprietor of Daft Eddie's, um, Mr. Aaron Strong. And he runs uh, the place, and he's run the place for the last 25 years, uh, along with his sister Tamara McLeod. I'm told that many people have tried to find the grave of Daft Eddie, but they have met with no success. Could be in here somewhere. Who knows? But that's the. Uh, the story of Daft Eddie and it's uh, supposedly based on uh, fact rather than just uh, fiction. A lot of old graves in here so it well could be true. And uh, the manager of um, Daft Eddie's and owner, um, joint owner, showed me his copy of this uh, book Daft Eddie or The Smugglers of Strangford Lock by W. G. Little. And there's a couple of photographs that are extremely interesting inside. And the top photograph claims to be a photograph of the home of Daft Eddie. You can make your own decision about that and here we have a picture of Tullnachill churchyard where Daft Eddie's were led to rest. Daft Eddie's remains were led to rest and if you ever get the opportunity of having a meal down at Daft Eddie's at Skettrick Island, White Rock, Calinche, take it and whenever you do arrive, look at the first few pages of the uh, menu booklet. And there's a poem by a guy called R.L. Bates. 
I don't know where it originates from um, or who this guy was but here it is like a ball of flame the sun uprose to light this ghastly scene the death of a noble boy such as the world has rarely seen he sat upon the bank on high his directions calmly given were obeyed by both man and boy outside the smuggler's haven a shot rang out amid the din the boy forward he fell they carried him home on a wooden git to his little house in the dell life lingered for a little while inside the house of clay but the golden cord that holds the heart snapped at the dawn of day they carried his simple coffin round by the camp stone hill and led him to rest in the churchyard of Tullinac Hill. You travellers who would see this lonely grave to find must look in the northeast corner, though it be roughened by the wind. No costly memorial points out the place, but a slab of worn grey slate shows the country youth that there daft eddy lies in state. Fascinating.